Tell me about your role in Powada 3D. It's a very evocative title, isn't it? Fear in 3D. Yeah, fear in 3D. My role uh, actually play a normal guy, not a cool guy, you know. It's a bit stupid guy, you know. Which was was very funny to to play because I love playing character that that are very different from myself. And he he's a guy that goes with uh, two friend, friends of his in, um, in a house of a wealthy man. They break into the house. And he accidentally discovers a basement and he goes downstairs and finds uh, something he should have never discovered inside the cellar. And bad things start happening. You know. Now when you were reading the script, or maybe even when you were filming as well, what particular moments made you really scared? Well, um, while I was reading the script, I, I read this uh, torture scene where I was involved. And I thought, my God, uh, how am I going to do that, you know? <laughs> but then I just trusted the directors and all the crew and I did my job and here I am still alive. What scares you in real life when you're not in movies like Para? Um, well, uh, I'm really scared to be left alone, you know, if you're on your own, it's not a good thing, you know, I, there's this beautiful movie, The Champagne's Into the Wild, where at the end, uh, Christopher McKendley says, happiness is only real when shared. If you were in a house in the middle of nowhere, nobody was with you, so you were alone on this occasion, and you heard a noise coming from the attic or the basement, what would you do? Well, first of all, I would never get inside the house you know <laughs> that's a smart move I think yeah. and if I you know hear that noise I would run away as fast as I could you said about your character in power 3d that he's a little bit stupid yeah. were there moments that you thought to yourself when you're reading it or, or filming it my god just run away do that don't do that yeah of course the first time when I um, Simone goes in the basement and sees the through the whole, um, the girl, I, I was like, come on, you, you, saw, you saw her, go away. Why you wanna stay there? And also when the wealthy man, you know, the Marchese arrives, just run away, but he, he stays there, you know? A bit stupid. How do you think is the best way to maintain tension in horror films for audiences who really know the tips and all the tricks already that the filmmakers use? The more realistic a situation is, even the, even if the situation is um, a bit surreal, you know, if the actors uh, really believe in what they are doing, it's like a contrast, you know, absurd situation and scary situation together, and that's it, yeah.